Good morning, it's Wednesday, it's the 28th of August. I hope your morning's going well so far. It's great to have you tuned in wherever you may be today. I know there's a number of people joining us online right now. Uh, Jedward fans from all over the UK and indeed the world. Good morning to you if you're listening into BBC Radio Leicester online uh, at bbc.co.uk forward slash Radio Leicester. You're very welcome and of course here on 104.9 FM in Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. So brace yourself. Uh, They burst onto our screens in 2009 during the X Factor audition Auditions, instantly dividing the judging panel and the nation to some degree. Uh, the identical twins, John and Edward Grimes, were, well, let's say hated by Simon Cow, but loved by Louis Walsh, who continues to guide their careers today and has uh, described them as two of the hardest working people he knows. Uh, they've gone on to become one of the most successful acts ever to come out of the X Factor with their own TV shows and albums. Uh, two Eurovision appearances now and their own headline tour, which is coming to Leicester. Four weeks today, in fact, on Wednesday the 25th of September at De Montford Hall. They will be live. And I caught up with them just a short time ago, and they filled me in on what they've been up to so far this year. Here's Jedward. Yeah, we're doing really, really good. We had like a crazy year. We're in Canada, we're in Australia, we're in some of the European countries, and it's so great to be in the UK in September because it's going to be a really crazy month because we're going to be filming Jared's Big Adventure for the beginning of the month, and mm. then at the end, we'll have like the last week of like, we're in Losoff, we're in Leicester, we're in Chetnam. Do you, know, do you know what Jared's Big Adventure is? This is your latest TV show, isn't it? Well, it's in the third no, series. No, it's in the third <laughs> series. We're doing 10 episodes. But it's, 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 it's a kid's TV show, so you're probably not watching it, but you can watch it if you want. Well, I knew, I knew about you, you You do a, a, like a dream dream come true thing, don't you? Yeah, yeah, in Ireland, we had this TV show called OMG, Jared's Dream Factory, and it's yes. a Christmas show. So it was all like making kids' dreams come true. But we like um, going in the UK and traveling and meeting all the fans at different places because they can't always come to London. And we're usually, most stuff happens in London, like Radio 1. And so it's really cool traveling around the country. Brilliant. Okay, so you're going to be filming for that in Leicester whilst you're on tour here. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if we're filming there, but we'll try and get them to film. What did you have this morning for breakfast? What did I have for this morning? I had eggs this morning for breakfast. I have eggs. I every had morning. porridge. Did you? I had melon. I had melon porridge, mm. and I had oranges and bananas. Why? But usually before, usually before we go on stage, we have like fruit. We have water, so we're not, so we have like loads of energy and we're hydrated. What, why? Why is my breakfast important? I don't because know, breakfast is the beginning just, of the day. I was just checking to see that you were eating the right stuff oh, before you go on radio to give you energy. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you guys are so full of energy. You don't You don't need porridge or anything to get you going, surely. I mean, my goodness me. No, we do. We have to drink loads of water and have loads of fruit. And eat I know lots of people think me and John have energy, but we're actually just really professional and we bring loads of energy. We're not like crazy energy. Yeah, we're cool. Not all the time. Not all the time. Now, I, I was concerned. I won't lie to you. Reading your uh, the blurb that came with your new album and the tour information, it says here this is your, your, your third album now. We knew that. But it says that you've grown up. Is that true? Uh, I don't think so. Loads of fans think we still look the exact same as we did back in 2009. Some people go, are you like, are you, you just don't grow, get older. But yeah, me and I, we have progressed so much. We're, we're playing piano, we're playing guitar on stage, doing acoustic songs. And like our concerts are the next level than what they used to be. And we're just like improving the whole time. So what does that mean? Does that mean that the, the, the song's a little bit more mellow or what does it no, mean? No, it doesn't. It, mean, it means that like we're playing guitar. We're playing piano, and um, we're doing like acoustic sets, and um, we're doing bigger songs. Um, like you think about, we're doing more like um, like we sang the script Hall of Fame. Like we had a concert last week, and it went down really, really well with all the fans. And we sang Hero and we by sang Enrique hey Iglesias. Hey and we, did we, we did Westlife because Westlife um, had a re- they um, they had their last concert, mm. and we were the opening act in like Ireland. I think it was two years ago. So I think like a lot of their fans are missing them. So me and John decided to sing one of their songs, and everyone was singing it. Oh, crying. that's nice. I mean, you you are now one of Ireland's most successful music acts. So I mean, you're right up there with the likes of Westlife and you too. Yeah. Even that's quite yeah, something. Yeah, there isn't was it? there was this night that was held for this Irish rock group called Aslan, and um, everyone got together. Like even Bono did like a live web um, performance, and it had like us that had um, the Coronas, it had the script. And it's really was cool because like we we do like um, a Christmas pantomime theatre show every year and like all the most famous people in Ireland come to it yeah like we had Colin Farrell like he brought his child and um, we had Ronan Keating and even like, Bono like he wants to go and even Mrs Brown's bo- even Mrs Brown like oh, she's a really big brilliant. fan of us That's and we fantastic. were because he, he was on our TV show um, um, Brendan 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 O'Connor yeah, yeah Brendan he O'Connor. was at, he, 
Yeah, because that show was huge in Ireland before it actually hit the BBC. So everyone in Ireland was like, rocket, loved this show. And then it became really big <laughs> in the UK. That's brilliant. That is fantastic. I love that Brendan's a fan of yours. You are instantly recognisable, aren't you, all over the world. And your brand, Jedward, has just grown into this monster now. TV shows, you said, albums, touring. How wrong could Simon Cow possibly have been? It's, it's Completely a- wrong. <laughs> it's been an amazing journey for you, boys, since 2009 when you were on The X Factor. You, you're one of the most successful, if not the most successful acts ever to have come out of The X Factor camp now. That must feel pretty yeah. special. I think it's great because like me and John, we've that like we we're always want to sub- sustain like um, being Jedward and bring loads of energy. We don't want to be like just fade away. Like we always want to br- give up pictures, do new yeah, interviews. The thing about it is, we're always changing and always getting better and always wanting to do better. And like even if you don't know what we're doing day by day, you still know John Nedra out there somewhere in the world. <laughs> Causing havoc wherever you are, no doubt. Yeah. And that's why we love you. Um, so tell us a little bit about the tour that's coming to Leicester, De Montfort Hall, uh, Wednesday the right. 25th of September. It, I mean, this is a, uh, this is a, an historic venue, boys. I'm yeah, what's coming... T- it's in yeah. its 100th year this year, De Montfort wow. Hall. The Beatles have played there. Amazing. And We've met Paul McCartney. He's really cool. Oh, yeah, so what, you want to know what, what you can expect from the show? Yeah. What you can expect from the show is a two over two-hour show. Like, we're on stage for over two hours. We're singing loads of songs, like songs that you'll know, songs that our fans will know, and, like, we'll have our dancers. We'll have, like, it's going to be really, really great. Loads of A lot of interaction with the audience, because usually um, people create that distance between the audience and you. Like, we're going to really... Like I get everyone involved. I want everyone singing. I want everyone feeling like they're part of the show as well. Because I think are. people who aren't, who maybe aren't even a Jared fan, should just come down and check it out and just go, and and then go, wow, I'm a massive Jared fan now. Do you think we'd be surprised if if we just came along just to sort of, okay, I'm going to go and see this show? Uh, yeah, yeah, because that's what ha- that's what happens. Like usually, parents might come with their children, or or they might, or a girl might bring a boyfriend, and by the, at the beginning of the show, they're kind of a bit iffy, like, oh, what am I doing at Jebra concert? And then by the end of it, they're singing the lyrics, they're rocking out, and they've been jettified. <laughs> So, because when you started, when we first encountered you on that audition in the X Factor, and, and you, you, I mean, you blew the audience away, you blew the judges away, and Louis was instantly a fan. He's always believed yeah. in you, hasn't he? I mean, you must have learned so much about show business and about yeah. performing and about how to work with an audience over these last four years. Yeah, I just guys. think me, me and Eric, like, because X Factor was a real good springboard for me and Eric. We've done so much tours. Because I feel like loads of people they go to college and they either go to stage school or they do that type of stuff. We we did none of that. So everything the last three three and a half years has been like college for us like we've learned um, how to perform we learned how to do interviews have like um, be consistent Mm. in like um doing what we're doing but th- your fans really do love you to bits and louis loves you as well he's always believed in you hasn't he louis walsh has described you as the hardest working act he's ever managed how important has he been to you guys in sustaining your career would you say well i think he was a number one supporter on x factor and he's always like been there and he always like talks highly of us but, like right now louis he's just our friend like he's not managing us right now so um me and john we're going to be doing he's doing his thing and we're doing our thing so we're going to do other stuff okay i didn't know so you've you've moved you've moved away from louis have you yeah me and edward there's like because yeah, louis really busy with the x factor sure. and, and right now there's like these massive like labels that all want to sign us for our next album because we've record we, we've um been working on songs and like there's just so many people who want to um take jeward to the next level so what do you think maybe a movie no, like music, everything. Like, because basically, me and Aaron have only ever been launched properly in Ireland. Mm. Like, we still have to launch. And then the UK just kind of like because they like Jed, we're just kind of they, when there's an Irish so article, they'll print our next it. music and whatever we do next will be on a bigger scale than what it has been. Okay, blimey, I can't wait. So get uh, ready for it. I, we're, we're, I'm bracing myself already. Um, let's just talk quickly about Eurovision. Ready for a Jared explosion. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk quickly about Eurovision because yeah. I mean that was a really ex- exciting experience for you too. Yeah, it was wasn't amazing. It? Two years running over in Baku. To- our very own Tony Wadsworth from BBC Radio Leicester was out there with Engelbert at the time. Uh, yeah, we met Engel. We met Engelbert. He was like a really cool guy. Like we met his family, and he always came up to shake our hand, and we always felt like we so, were meeting someone yeah. important. It was really good because all the other acts they didn't really speak English and then Engelbert would come up to us and be, he'd be like almost like he was royalty <laughs> but the great thing about Eurovision is that it like, it like spread the Jedward love all across Europe and like we were in all the magazines our and, fans and then when we, weren't in, when we weren't in it everyone was like where's Jedward and then like literally when Eurovision was on this year I think trending on Twitter was like um, no Jedward <laughs> <laughs> well it's bonkers fantastic stuff so are you in rehearsals at the moment is the show all set to go 
Um, well, me and John, we, we already had our concerts in Ireland, so we're, we're totally ready to go, but we're going to add more songs and we're going to maybe change up a tiny bit for the fans that have already seen the show. Do you know what, guys? I, I, I really enjoy it whenever you're on screen, whenever I see you. I'm a big fan of Celebrity Juice and yeah. you, know, <laughs> you, you always bring so, so much fun to whatever you do and, and all power to you for that. I can't... Yeah, but it's really cool because me and John, we can be serious and then we can be like <laughs> having fun. Like When you consider like... BBC Breakfast we were on that this morning and then Celebrity Juice are totally different worlds <laughs> <laughs> well listen keep it up because we, you know, the world needs more fun and frankly yeah, you we know, will. Jedward will always deliver that won't they we will always be doing something cool for everyone to go whoa that's pretty cool great stuff guys great to talk to you see you soon All right. All right. see you thanks for having us make sure to check out our concert on the 25th of September DeMount Hall Leicester see you right. Jim cheers bye, Jim. bye. Keep rocking your thing. Rocking radio interviews. <laughs> I, I had to go and lie down after we had our chat. It was just so much fun. Uh, Jerry, good morning to you. Patricia's in Australia listening in. Coming to Leicester for the concert. Patricia, safe journey and see you when you get here. Uh, morning to Juliet as well and everybody tuned in listening to uh, Jedward there online. Uh, thanks very much for all your tweets. John and Edward and they're at De Montfort Hall on the 25th of September if you uh, if you're up for it uh, I know you're in for quite a night <laughs>